Hello everyone. So this is a Umi Digi Power 7S. It's an Android smartphone, very affordable. You can purchase one of this for less than £100 UK currency. And it's a big smartphone. This is a 6.7 inch um, Android smartphone. So it's a quite a big smartphone. Dual camera at the back here with a flashlight. It has the volume control, the power button there. Underneath here, it takes a USB Type-C charging port and it gives you a 10 watts fast charge as well and the speaker is there as well that's the mic where you when you speak on the phone picks up there on the left side you got a shortcut button here as well and that's where the sim goes in at the top here it also takes a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack as well and that's everything it also comes with a, a silicon um, transparent um, case as well and it also comes with a, a screen protector built in as well so uh, that's already fitted on so you don't have to worry about buying a screen protector or a case comes with a free pin plug as well here and a USB type C cable as well now I would like to go through some of the features that it comes with and one thing that really stands out regarding this power 7s is that it has a very big battery life it has a 6150 mAh battery capacity so that is a big uh, battery built into this smartphone uh, with a 10 watts fast charge USB-C uh, so you would get roughly around 390 hours of standby time 30 hours of talk time 30 hours of music playback time and 12 hours of gaming time so that is quite good for a full charge that's because of the big battery that's one thing that really stands out regarding buying this model the Power 7S it also has the rear camera which is a 16 megapixel uh, dual cam AI and it also comes with a um, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera along with that as well. At the front it also comes with a um, 8 megapixel camera. It has a built in um, Android, uh, Android 11 and it also has a 4G, um, this is a 4G smartphone. So it's not compatible with 5G at the moment, but this is a 4G. Uh, the resolution is 1650 times 720 HD. Um, it also has, like I mentioned, the customized button there. That's another um, great feature, also a feature that not many smartphones have. And the specs is 4 gig RAM, 64 gig memory, and you can expand that with a micro SD memory card to 256 if you want to. Uh, the screen is really big and I, I, I really like that because when you play games, uh, etc, that's a lot of um, space here to play games on. Okay, now if I go down, you got all, all these on the settings, you can see here, um, you got the network, internet, then you got the connect um, connection where you got the Bluetooth, uh, you got the cast printing, Chromebook, nearby um, Android Auto, etc. Then you got and the app and notifications you've got smart key here now that's this button here the shortcut button here now one click it will do a screenshot double click start recording open um, long press open SOS but you can change them as well you can click on it and customize that so you've got that feature there smart assistant here you've got battery display schedule power on off uh, sound storage uh, privacy location security where you got face unlock as well you got screen um, um, lock so you can do the swipe pin you got face unlock so that's another great feature it doesn't have fingerprint so bear that in mind um also if you go to the bottom you got um, accounts here you got accessibility you got uh, digital well-being and parental controls google services system and about phone so that's the model um android version is 11 um, shows all the other specs as well now that's all the free, um, specs he has it's a very smooth running smartphone bear in mind if you download too many apps obviously you can slow down and let me go to the camera so now the camera I was expecting to be quite good however it's not it's, uh, the main feature about this is the big battery life and for a long usage time that's it other than that, it is a budget smartphone, so bear in mind the camera is not the best if you're looking for a smartphone within that price and having a good camera. So I've done some recordings and taken some pictures. So this was, um, let me put the auto rotation on. So here, you can see here, I've taken pictures with the lights off and this is how it looks. 
and then with the lights on the flashlight on this is how it looks and then i've made a recording without the lights and to be honest it, it does lag a lot and it does it, it takes ages to focus so that's one of the downside it takes a very long time to focus even when i put the flashlight on i was expecting maybe it might focus much quicker however you have to keep it still for it to focus otherwise if you move the smartphone around it keeps blurring out constantly so that was some of the you know, recordings i've done just to show you how the quality of the camera is um if you go to the video and then go to the settings here um i've got a lot of fingerprint marks here let me quickly just wipe that off oh it's recording again all right so if i go back go to the camera again and then capture so capture you got the settings here and then in the settings you got these options here so you got camera sound you got picture size so you can choose from these sizes here all right and then go back you got the picture quality where you can choose super fine fine or normal add a logo watermark as well um add time watermark countdown duration composition line a uh, smile shutter face attribute um detect i got anti-banding you got AI recognition and you got touch photograph. So that's on the um, capturing photos. And if you go to the video, um, you got this the storage path, volume key function, camera sounds, save location, the video size, you can only record 1080p HD. I got composition line, white balance, I got anti banding, face detection, and Microsoft Switch. So these are all the features he has. But the camera, the smartphone is very um, good. Uh, quality wise very good as well and it's got a big screen big battery life for the price range it's worth it because it got a lot of great features packed into it just the camera is the downside with the camera and the ram is 4 gig ram 64 gig internal memory so thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe